France had quickly identified the criminals of the Paris terror attacks, a Belgian master head and several French henchmen, most dead or arrested now, but decided it is war against Syria. Syria which lies in the Middle East and had been terrorized by Western imperialists for years. Oh no, wait, it is not war on Syria, it is the war on terror better, war on the Islamic State, is. That's right. President Hollande wants to destroy ISIS. ISIS is long for Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, but it's in another country, sirs. So it is an act of state terror all the same, murder. Bombing people from the skies. Genocide. Here's the official definition of genocide. Article 2, in the present convention, genocide means any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnical, racial or religious group, as such. A. Killing members of the group. B. Causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group. C. Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. D. Imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group. E. Forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. Source, prevent genocide. The main attackers in Paris were punished. Now those must be killed who might think about terrorism. You know, to prevent thoughts from turning into motion. What has happened to France? We recall Paris objecting with their feet the US-led invasion of Iraq in 2003. Hypocrites, that's what the French are. Imperialists and hypocrites, for if other do the bombing, then it's incredible. But when the French do it, it's LA civilization. It gets better, now the French are asking, number they are begging Germany to join the bloody revenge and mass murder, so that is looks better. You know. If we are all in it. Who's left to prosecute us nobody? So this is what the world has become. Or better, what is has returned to? The terrorist state USA and its European client states have set the Middle East on fire. Everyone knows it. Hundreds of thousands were killed, millions lost their homes. And when those miserable creatures take suicide bombs, which is despicable, no one is denying it, to the enemy, of course they are labeled B-Eats exclamation mark animals terrorists. Never mind that killing civilians is what war is all about. What? You thought war is about hey let's find the enemy soldiers and fight a bloody battle. No, of course not. The US, for instance, has always attacked first and foremost civilians be that the bombing of German cities, or firebombing and nuclear bombing Japanese cities, or gassing the villages of Vietnam. France is no beginner either in state terror and mass murder in its former colonies. LA Civilization I can't see that civilization in I for an I France. I see revenge and warmongering. The Western media is out of control. Let us clearly say what France should do, it should prosecute and punish the attackers, via trial. Stop bombing Islamic countries. Do not bring up Western value. Shut up. The laws will do just fine. There are 1.7 billion Muslims in the world. The vast, vast, vast majority are law-abiding citizens and condemn the terror attacks. But if you kill hundreds of human beings in the Middle East as an act of revenge, you do not earn, nor deserve, sympathy but contempt. Mass murder of Muslims legitimized by the French state. Think about that. You will never be able to wash that off. It will stick with France forever. Just like your history of colonialism. Here is what happens. All things natural, Islam will be a force in France, and maybe even Europe. Muslims are assertive, masculine, and dominance seeking. They have more children. They have been massacred by European imperialists throughout the ages, and have prevailed. What do you want to do? Lynch them all? What do you tell your kids? ISIS is in Syria, Iraq, Libya, and Afghanistan. How many do you plan to execute? How many Orientals deserve to die? In addition, it will be almost impossible, in our day and age, to control the flow of information. The global US-led media, and the French propaganda machine will have to work over time and censor like there was no tomorrow. France is a small country. Muslims are 1.7 billion. It gets better. Among is our European volunteers. So, 
Now French fighter bombers could be killing German and British citizens. Do you know the consequences of this? LA Civilization The French love to protest American reckless military operations in foreign lands over 178 in the last 200 years. Now we see that France was just this, in Vux. Dash envious. Poorer, poorer, if everyone does as the French do. 129 people were killed in the Paris attacks. That's terrible. Do you have to murder as many Syrians now? Absolutely not. Some European media, all experts on war, talk about World War III, no kidding. War, war, war. All is justified now. By that logic of course France should bomb Belgium, where the attacks were organized. The past may also be affected. Germany was absolute right, by France's high moral standards, to invade France during World War II because there were evidences of French attacks on Germans? Russia is now in hindsight legitimized for having invaded parts of the Ukraine precisely to counter terrorist attacks on Russian living there? In fact, Paris has green-lighted each and every nation on this planet to bomb each other in order to protect one's citizens from further acts of violence, as an act of self-defense, Article 51 UN Charter, perhaps. One could even go so far and argue that governments, as well as our irresponsible media corporations are now actively chasing bloodshed and violence so as to create more terrorism, more counter-terrorism, and ever so on. There's no denying it that certain industries, among them our press soldiers, profit from military confrontation. It's silly how French students learn in school how American settlers wiped out the native Indians. What they now have to learn is that the Indians were terrorists, too, who took the scalps from Christian women and shot arrows at white kids. All makes sense now. This, of course, would confirm Hegelian dialectic in that great powers create problems, provoke a reaction, and then finally have all the reasons to proceed with genocide. It's only terror if the Orientals do it. If we do it, it's LA civilization.